What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here presenting you Five Nights at Freddy's. Last time we finished up Night 5, got our first star, and for all intent purposes, the game is pretty much over. Everything else we do from here on out is all extra. I will be attempting Night 6 in the hopes to beat it, at least fairly quickly per se. I've been practicing for the past few days, and let me tell you right now, I have yet to be able to conquer Night 6, so me doing it will be quite an achievement for myself. After beating Night 6, you will get your second star, and then unlock Custom Night 7, where you can set everybody to however you want, and if they're all set at the hardest difficulty level, you'll be able to get three stars if you beat them. Why don't we just worry about Night 6 for right now, so here we go. 12 a.m., 6th night. You actually don't have to worry about watching me play this from 12 a.m. till I die because I'm going to be splicing together, you know, the night as I go along because there's no new phone calls and there may be a thing or two that we'll be talking about throughout the evening, but for right now, I just need to survive. Oh boy, okay, here we go. So, being that we are on the sixth night, of course, all of their difficulty has increased, and that would be expected, obviously, because it's the hardest night, or one of the hardest nights, naturally, in the game, without you doing any type of customization. Whoa, we'll go away, okay. The thing about it is, is not only do the uh, animatronics become more active on nights like this when their difficulty is set up, but there's also a lower chance of, um or a higher chance of them getting into your room faster. Basically, whenever an animatronic appears at your door, you have a certain amount of time for you to be able to shut it on them. If you miss that window of opportunity, you will not be able to do anything. The lights will not work, the door will not shut, and they will be officially in your room. They will jump you, scare you once you pull up your camera and put it back down. So, if you keep hearing, like, just click, 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 click on your lights and your doors, then, um, and then they're already in the room, and I'm sorry, my friend, you are dead. Unless it's 5 a.m. and you have very little, um, time left to actually go, then you may be able to wait it out, depending on what side it is that's not closing. Okay. All right, Bonnie, you need to go away. That was, like, the third time Bonnie has appeared outside my door. Ugh. And Chica's is there, that's fine, whatever. So I'm also starting to learn other audio cues in this game. Basically, you can tell when Freddy is moving from place to place by his laughter. If he has that weird demonic laugh going on, that means he's moving to whatever next section of the building that he goes from. He seems to like to go from the show stage, to uh, the dining area, to the bathroom, and then to you. So... Keep an ear out, make sure you hear him wherever it is that he may be going. And there was his laugh. He laughed and now he is in the bathroom. And it is 4 a.m. and I'm not doing so bad in terms of my power. So just a matter of keeping everybody exactly where they need to be and not having to worry, stop it. My actions are starting to get a little bit sporadic right now because I'm excited about maybe possibly getting further along this than I have before. I have made it to 5 a.m., but that was just barely with enough power left. And I would really like it if Freddy just chills out where he is for the remainder of the night. I still got quite a bit to go. Ugh, I think this is going to be like the longest next two minutes of... Well, I, I would save my life, but that would be kind of overdramatic now, wouldn't it? Okay, it is 5 a.m. Freddy just left the bathroom. You can kind of hear that weird little jingle thing of his in the background. That means, I guess, he is on the move now. So right now, all I have to worry about is Foxy. Foxy is my main one right now that I have to worry about. I have quite a lot of power left. It's 5 a.m. I have 10% left. Foxy, again, is the only one I really got to care about. I know I said that already, but uh, this is this this is pretty close. Go away, go away. I'm just gonna leave this open. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. 
Everything's gonna be all right. Where are you, Foxy? You're making your way to me right now. You're gonna bang, bang, bang. All right, that's fine. I have 2% power left. All right, hear that? That means Chica's in my room. So I'm gonna close that so this way Foxy doesn't jump in on me. And we're just gonna wait it out. We are again going to wait this out. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, power's off. Again, like all my other times. Oh no, you're here already? No, come on, that's no fair. Really, Freddy? You're gonna jump scare me now? I'm so close! I'm so close, I just wanna beat Night Zex. I just wanna beat Night Zex. Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh, oh man. Oh jeez, I've earned some overtime. Again, not worth it. Okay, so I think when I made um, talking about 11.13 in the last video, here it is. It wasn't a patch. It was just night sixth, the sixth night, um, uh, what is it, uh, check right there where it says 11.13 at 1.20, 50 cents. Did we earn 50 cents for doing night six? Oh, that's so stupid. That is horrible. Oh man, all right, well, guess what guys? We earned our next star, woo! That's two out of three. Am I gonna do the uh, hardest difficulty level right now in this game? No, absolutely not. In fact, I'm gonna set everybody to zero because there's one more little thingy in order to show um, at the end of Custom Night 7. And just like in Custom Night 6, you're not gonna worry about watching me go through it. I will uh, just cut out and everything. This purpose right here is pretty much rare screen hunting. I'm just going to see how many rare screens I can pull up. So, here we go. Custom Night 7. Really quickly. Nice and easy. Alright, here we are. 12 a.m. Night 7. With all animatronics set at their lowest difficulty level that they can possibly be. Uh, don't expect much activity for this evening. Bonnie and Chica probably won't move until about 4 a.m. Freddy won't move at all. And Foxy may poke his head out every so often, but I'm going to be jumping around the cameras trying to find any type of rare screens that we haven't seen already or just maybe even creepy ones that we have. So, uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Did you ever notice when you're sitting in this office and you look from side to side, it feels like we're almost in a cylinder, not a squared off office like it's supposed to be? And who's in charge of cleaning this place? We have the cobwebs all over the place, we have garbage all on our desk, and this fan, this stupid fan just won't stop. Ah, they, they really need better maintenance people. Forget about hiring better guards. They need to hire better janitors for this place. Being that I can't really use up all my power just flipping around from camera to camera, it gives me time to look around this office. And I'm noticing these pictures up here. They're kind of creepy. Like, look at Freddy. He has no pupils. And he seems really happy about giving this little individual a gift. And you have Bonnie over here, which I can assume that's Bonnie based off of the color scheme and whatnot, speaking of which, he is on the move. Um, I bet you're in the back room, right? Yeah, you are. Yep. Still nothing, nothing, nothing. But uh, based off of the color scheme and the ears, coming up out of a present here, which is actually, I guess, kind of a thing that comes back in Five Nights at Freddy 2. There's a specific character that is known for coming out of a box in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And that's what this reminds me of. Plus it even says me. So I wonder if it's the child saying it's me or Bonnie saying it's me. Hmm. I mean, even when it comes to these posters over here, I mean, you have, you know, Freddy and Chica that look all bright-eyed and happy, but Bonnie looks kind of sleepy. Half-opened eyes and whatnot. Where are you, by the way? You just moved from me. Are you actually at my door? No, I can't even hear any footsteps. Oh, there you are. Bonnie is freaking out! Chica does the same thing when she's over here sometimes, but uh, right now we just have Bonnie, but he's at my door! I knew it! Shut! 
Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha. Yeah, I was trying to open to get maybe like the crying children poster, but unless it just randomly pops up within the next few moments, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. Oddly enough, I oh man, you're outside my door again. Jeez, go away. Go away, Bonnie. Really? I lost power? On a night set with everybody at zero? Well, I guess that's what I get for looking at the security camera so much. But that would be the idea behind this night for me anyway, and that would be to find the rare screens that are available in the game. But it's gonna change soon anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. There we go, I'm saying, done. Done and done. Custom night seven, done. Now you can't say I didn't do it. Of course, I didn't get the star, but you know what? We got our pink slip. You're fired. Tampering with animatronics, general unprofessionalism, and odor? Thanks. Minjum. So, I guess they blame us for the way that the animatronics are? That they smell and they're giving off the odor and whatnot? Which, a lot of people assume then that who we are as the Night Guard are the ones that killed a lot of the kids. I don't think that's it, and I think it's just management trying to cover up their tracks or something like that. Or then again, it may have absolutely nothing to do with the main story at all, because again, this is custom night 7, you can do whatever you want in that night, so it may have no bearing on the canon whatsoever. Now am I going to do the 420 mode? Absolutely not. I, I may do it on my own time if I feel the need to, but I am not going to be filming or recording that, because night 6 was hard enough and I, I know I would not be able to do... I probably could do 420 mode, but it would just take me forever. Maybe I'll take a screenshot if I actually do the three stars and post that somewhere down the line and be like, hey, look what I did. But that is pretty much all the new and interesting stuff that you have to find in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Every time you beat Custom Night, you'll always get that same screen, so it doesn't matter how hard or whatever they are, it's going to be the same. Except for one special little Easter egg that Scott threw into the game that most people were like, hey, does this happen? We don't know. It could be. Let's find out. But before I jump into that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for following me through Five Nights at Freddy's. I am done with it right now. I'm not going back to this. I have other projects to work on. I do want to do Five Nights at Freddy's 2 at some point. And let me know in the comments what you think. You know, as I always say, rate, comment, subscribe. As I ask you to do an almost every YouTube video. I want you to know what you guys liked or disliked about my Five Nights at Freddy's run. Again, I know I'm late to the party when it comes to actually doing this game. But I like it. I really like this game. This game is so cool. And it's just... I don't know. I just, I'm, in, I'm fascinated by it. The story and the game mechanics and things along that ways. This is Five Nights at Freddy's, guys. You can get this on Steam. It's... Uh, $4.99 I believe, so 5 bucks for a game like this. Really not bad at all. Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is out as well, and I'll probably be doing a little mini playthrough of that and at some point in the future. Plus there's so many fan games out there that I want to take a crack at as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed Seven Nights at Freddy's, even though it says five, but we did the seven. Rate, comment, subscribe, as I ask you to do in almost every YouTube episode. I thank you guys for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in whatever video I happen to put out next. And let me know what you think of this. If you enjoyed my little run-through of Five Nights at Freddy's, if this is more stuff that you want to see like this. I have a few other projects coming through. And until that time, you all have a good one. I shall catch you all later. What really happened at the bite of 87?